thanks for that question, Bendy. And we've had this question a lot of times. So I want to point out a few different things. Um, if we start with the soundtrack, the soundtrack is basically the composer's sandbox, if you will. <coughs> Excuse me. And in that sandbox, like little kids, composers can play and do whatever they want to do. And there's not really mommy or daddy standing around say, hey, you can't play with that toy or you can't do this. You can just make yourself dirty. You can do whatever you want. So the soundtrack is our sandbox. And that means I can put things on the soundtrack that never appeared in the film. I can mix pieces of music on the soundtrack um, the way that I felt uh, the music is best represented. Uh, for instance, in your case, you mentioned the trumpets. Um, find a different balance of the trumpets on my soundtrack mix uh, than potentially in the film. And I'll tell you why. First, I would like to say I do two types of mixes. One is fully in surround or sometimes even Atmos with multiple objects that is purely meant for the theatrical release of the film. Um, that is one type of mix. The second mix is just for the soundtrack. So for the soundtrack, it's stereo. And you don't have the dynamic range uh, that you have in the theater. So usually music has, is not as quiet, and if it's loud, it's not as loud as it would be in the theater when it purely comes to volume. Um, so when I finish my mix for the film itself, which is all in 5.1 and then multiple stems are delivered to the sound stage and dubbing stage where everything will be mixed with the sound effects and dialogue and everything else. So what happens a lot in in that process of mixing the film, that a director or a mixer would take some of the stems out of your music, he would change the balance of some of your stems, or he would EQ some of the stems completely different than was intended, because music is one thing, film music is something else, because film music needs to operate within the film, with dialogue, with sound effects, and with conceptual sound design, with uh, crowd effects, with whatever you name it. And you, uh, as a mixer, dubbing mixer, have to make decisions on the spot. Where do I create space for this dialogue? Where do I create space for this big sound effect? And that sometimes means and I, when I say sometimes, I mean all the time, that your stems are being played with. Sometimes, um, especially on um, the orchestral sounds, they would have really drastic EQ in their music to make room for the, for the, for the dialogue. In action sequences, for instance, they would carve out anywhere between three, 400 hertz to like one, 1 1.5 kilohertz. When there's a dialogue line, they would take so much of that frequency out of the strings and out of the brass to make room for that dialogue line. They do this a lot on choir stems because choir obviously is exactly the same frequency range as dialogue. So they do a lot of that. Um, <clears throat> they do similar things with the music um, when the sound effects uh, are really heavy on a certain frequency range. Very good example. Um, Three on the Rise of an Empire that I scored, there are a lot of sword fights in, uh, in the movie. And because of that, there's a lot of clinging and clanging metal sounds happening constantly in the movie. So if I were to compose a piece of music that is filled with metal sounds, what is gonna happen during the uh, dubbing mix? They're gonna take those layers out or they're gonna start EQing the music so drastically that in that frequency range of the clinging and the clanging, not a lot of music information exists. So as a composer, to avoid that, 
you want to make sure that when you're composing, you're composing in a frequency range that is away from what the sound design team is developing. And that will prevent your music from sounding drastically different in the final result. Then there's also a matter of taste. Some directors do not like woodwinds. So if you write for woodwinds and for brass and strings, you better make sure you have them separately because a director will pull the woodwinds down in the final mix by quite a lot so they're not as piercing to the ear. Um, the other thing is uh, really high string runs that can sound really bitey and uh, aggressive. Um, that might sometimes be too much for the director's ear and then those strings get acute heavily or the strings are being pulled down. Um, some of the movies I worked on, they, uh, the director would feel, I want to feel more drive. So can you make the percussion louder in the mix? Um, and so you would play that specific scene in the mix and you would hear the brass and the strings sitting where they are and some of my electronic sound design, but then the drums would be so much louder than I, than I intended and it would sometimes would take over the music almost completely. So sometimes when I hear a film back that I worked on, I sometimes have to scratch my head which piece of music it actually was because the, the, the difference in balance can sometimes be so extreme that it's hardly recognizable as the same piece of music. On average, that doesn't happen so often that the music becomes unrecognizable, but it does happen. And there are a lot of composers that can, um, uh, that have this experience. The last thing that I want to say is that when you are done composing your music, uh, the movie is still changing. People, uh, the director is still making cuts in the movies moving scenes around, making things longer, making things shorter, which means that since the music is all composed, now the music editor needs to help making the music work with the scene, which means that complete pieces of music will be cut from what I intended and what I recorded. Sometimes things will be looped because 15 seconds have been added to a scene, but I never scored that scene because it was made after I was done recording the film. So all these aspects combined can lead to a film score in the film that is quite drastically different from what is appearing on the soundtrack. So I hope that answers your question.